So with the weekend coming up, I guess you could call this our travel portion of the program, but it is not without controversy. Listen to this. Carnival Corporation preparing to sail to Cuba as part of the restoration of trade and diplomatic relations with that island nation. However, in a move apparently in cahoot with the Cuban communist government, and it has the endorsement of the U.S. Treasury Department and the anger of a whole lot of people here, the cruise line will ban some Cuban Americans from those upcoming cruises that begin on May 1st. Well, let's talk about that now with Mauricio Cleber Caron, uh, Mauricio Executive Director of Cuba Democracy Advocates, former uh, advisor to the U.S. Department of Treasury, likewise an attorney, Mauricio. Thanks for coming in to talk oh, about this. Sorry. And why on earth is this being allowed? Yeah. Well, look, when you embrace tyrants, it doesn't lift their standards. Unfortunately, it lowers ours. And what we're seeing now is essentially Carnival allowing, it because it's asked by the Cuban regime, to discriminate against Cuban Americans, people born in Cuba. But we're seeing the same thing now with Google, which is now censoring uh, on the island uh, all, all, of its, all of its contact. And we see it with Airbnb, which is turning in the information of travelers, passports and stuff, to officials of Cuban uh, security agencies. So this is what happens. We're playing by Castro's rules here. Instead of making things better there, we're making, we're making our companies uh, do worse, which is, makes you question, are these the American values that the Obama administration said that they were going to be sending uh, to Cuba with this new policy? Mauricio, uh, on, on behalf of Carnival, their spokesman, Roger Frizzell, said the cruise line is, quote, just following the laws that have been set up. We've requested a change in policy, which has not yet been granted, but our hope and intention is we can travel with everybody. Yep. Car Carnival's, Carnival's chairman and CEO has a dual citizen, is an Israeli citizen. When, when Israelis were not allowed to enter on cruise ships to Tunisia, some cruise companies canceled and protested that. I would have known, I would have liked to know what McGarrenson felt about some of these countries that did not allow Israeli citizens to enter. I'm sure those cruises did not enter there. And what would have happened if, for example, South Africa, they would have said, hey, look, there's no, no blacks are allowed into cruises to come into South Africa. Clearly, no cruise company would have allowed that. Why now Carnival thinks it's okay for, by the way, regulations that are against international law. It is one's inter right to be able to return and enter to someone's homeland. Uh, and, and this is in violation not only of Cuban law and U.S. law, frankly, but this is in violation of international law. So Carnival is three times guilty here. Let me drill down very quickly, about 30 seconds. The Cuban Americans not allowed to be on this cruise right now. Are those Cubans who left and came to the United States and became American citizens? Uh, anybody, according to Cuba's illegal law, frankly, um, anyone who is born in Cuba is not allowed to enter or leave the country by means of any vessel. Uh, so that is that is what they that is what they say that is their decree uh, and 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 unfortunately when it's against international law it should not be followed by any company. Mauricio Cleber Caron, I appreciate your perspective tonight on a disturbing travel story. Thanks Thank so much. Well, now it's time for the way you see it. Your comments via social media. A lot of you upset about President Obama's plans to offer social security and disability benefits to illegals. Terry Jeffrey was here last night talking about it. Gail wrote in with these comments. She says, Obama says he's going to give all illegal social security and Medicare benefits. He's also trying to make us pay for their college. What universe does he live in? This is America, not a third world country, especially considering illegals have more rights than we do. This is the most lawless administration we've ever had. Gail, just stand by. The Supreme Court ruling comes in a couple of weeks. Daryl writes in with a warning to the GOP and the RNC. He says, the GOP and the Republican National Committee better wake up to the fact That'll be either Trump or Cruz as the nominee, or the Republican Party will cease to exist. Conservative voters can either help save the Republican Party, or they can help in finishing to destroy it. You might have some comments for me, and I would welcome them. And we might read them on the air, as we just did there. If you do have comments, here's where you send them. NewsmaxTV.com slash comments, or if you're part of the Twittersphere, Use Twitter. Our handle is at Newsmax Prime. That'll do it for tonight. Hope you have a great weekend. See you back Monday. Stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.